Hello everyone, welcome to the Real Testimonials Pro plugin video tutorial. Before going to the plugin features, let's have a glimpse of the testimonial layouts with different features. You can showcase your testimonials in a slider, thumbnail slider, grid, machinery, list, and isotope filter with card theme layout. There are hundreds of features to be customized to achieve your desired goal. Once you have installed and activated the plugin in your WordPress dashboard, you will see a menu called Real Testimonials. When you click on it, it will take you to the All Testimonial page. Now click Add New to create a new testimonials and fill out the page with the necessary information. Finally click publish to add the testimonials and repeat the process to add as many testimonials as you want. Now go back to the all testimonial page again and you can order the testimonials by doing drag and drop like this. Next one you can see the manage view options. Here you will find all the testimonials views you have created using the real testimonials per plugin listed in one place. For each testimonials view you can get a title, a shortcode and the date it was published. If you want to make a copy any of your existing view then simply click on the duplicate button. Now let's move on to the all important add new view. First give it a title. Below that you will find several configuration tabs. Initially you will be in the general settings. Here you can select a layout preset to show you testimonials from 5 different options and there slider, grid, machinery, list and isotope. Filter the testimonials with latest groups specific and exclude. When you select groups, you can choose the groups to display your testimonials. Configure the responsive column, random order, order by options, schema markup and preloader from here. And you can set how many testimonials you want to show in the testimonial slider. Let's have a look at the testimonial slider in the live preview. Click show preview. And you can see this is how the testimonial slider looks like in the live preview. Now let's move on to the theme settings. Select a theme from 10 different theme styles. Each theme has its own customization options. To get the perfect view for some themes, do the necessary customizations as you like. So let's see an example. When you select theme 10, you can see some new fields added to customize the theme. So this is how it works. Now let's move on to the display settings. Here you will find the options to configure your testimonials content and reviewer informations related properties. Like you can show head the testimonial title and testimonial content and you can also set the content limit for testimonial title and testimonial content. If you want you can show a read more button as well. And configure the read more button related properties from here. So let's show it and if I update the preview you can see this is how the read more button looks like and the slider is showing in theme 10. So let's go back to the default theme 1 and now if I update the preview you can see this is how the testimonial slider looks like initially. Configure the reviewer information related properties like you can show had the reviewer full name, rating, rating related properties, identity position, company name, location, phone number, email address, date, website, Check the box to link identity and company name via website URL. Show or hide the social icons and configure the social icons as you like. If you want you can set custom color to the social icons as well. So let's see how the social icon display in the live preview. So as you can see this is how the social icons shows in the live preview. Let's move on to the slider controls. Here you will find the slider control related properties to be configured. Select a slider mode from standard or ticker and configure the autoplay, autoplay speed, pagination speed, slide to scroll, pause and hover, infinite loop and slider animation from here. So if I change the slider animation to fade and update the preview, you can see this is how the slider animation fade looks like. Set the slider direction and if you want to create a multi row carousel then use this option to create a multi row carousel. Configure the navigation and pagination related properties from here. So if I hide the navigation and update the preview, you can see the navigation has gone. 
now if i show it again and change the navigation position to top right and hide the pagination and update the preview you can see the pagination has gone but the navigation are showing at the top right corner of the slider so let's go back to the default settings and below that you will find a few properties to be enabled or disabled next one is image settings here you can show or hide the testimonial reviewer image enable the option to show you testimonials as a thumbnail slider so let's enable it and if i update the preview you can see this is how the thumbnail slider looks like to give it a better look what you can do is change the custom image size to 100 into 100 and now if i update the preview you can see it is showing much better than before set the image alignment margin from here and choose an image shape from circle rounded and square so if i set rounded and update the preview you can see this is how the rounded image shape looks like set border box shadow image background and padding for the images if you want you can set a custom size for the reviewer images from here enable or disable the light box for the images set an image mode for the testimonials images so if i set it to grayscale and normal on hover and update the preview you can see this is how the grayscale and normal on hover looks like show or hide the video testimonials when you show it you can set video icon color and video icon overlay color so let's change the video icon overlay color to this one and now if i update the preview and you can see this is how the video icon overlay color looks like so the last configuration tab is typography in the typography settings you can change the section title testimonial title testimonial content reviewer full name identity position company name location phone number email address date and website font related properties like font family font style text alignment font size line height margin and font color so now let's publish the shortcode and copy the shortcode id from here and go to a page where you want to display it insert the shortcode in a text code or shortcode block publish the page and view it so you can see this is how the testimonial slider looks like in the front end now if you want to change the testimonial title font properties then go to the shortcode again and in the typography settings you can see there is an option to set the testimonial title font properties so let's change the testimonial font family to letter and change the size to 24 and if i change the color to blue and now if i update and reload the page you can see the changes in the front end next one is testimonials forms you can create as many testimonials form as you want click add new to create a new testimonials form and give it a title and choose which field you want, you want to include in the testimonials form and do the necessary customizations from here now let's publish the testimonials form and copy the shortcode id from here and edit the page and let's insert the testimonials from here now if i update and reload the page you can see this is how the testimonial forms looks like initially now let's go to the plugin settings menu here you can see the license activation page appears to the first so this is the license activation field where you need to insert the license key to activate the plugin. Below that in the advanced settings you will find the options to enable or disable all the CSS and JS used in the plugin to run it smoothly. You can rename the real testimonials pro plugin menus. Use reCAPTCHA in the testimonials form to protect your testimonials from spam or abuse. Click get your API keys to find your site key and secret key for your website. I will explain deeply about this feature in another video. Next one is custom CSS and JS. Write the custom CSS and JS here to modify the plugin default styling. Let's move on to the tools menu. Using the tools menu you can export and import all the testimonials and testimonials forms created with the real testimonials pro plugin. So that's all about the real testimonials pro plugin. In the upcoming videos I will show you how you can use all those features in the plugin to make your testimonials view even more attractive and meaningful. Until then take care.